So you may remember, a while ago on the channel, I made a video seeing if the Pinebook Pro could edit video. And the conclusion I came to is, yes, it actually can edit video. Remarkably well, too, considering the price of the device. So in today's video, I want to take that a step further. I want to see if the Pinebook Pro can edit 4K video. Right now, on the Linux Lounge. So indeed, today we're going to be trying to edit some 4K footage on the Pinebook Pro. Now, 4K footage is very demanding. Not only is it demanding to play back, but it is also demanding to edit it. In fact, it's very demanding to edit. So, don't expect anything amazing here. But, I think we're going to go ahead and see what we can do anyway. So first, I've got some 4K footage here on my desktop. This is just some stock footage. So we're going to see if the Pinebook Pro can play it back. And as you can see, unfortunately, it is very laggy. So, unfortunately, I think the Pinebook Pro is just a little bit short of being powerful enough to play back 4K video. But, there is still a way that we can edit this. So, much like the last video I made about editing video on the Pinebook Pro, we're going to be using Caden Live. Caden Live is by far the best video editing program available for the Pinebook Pro. Now, if you're a video editor, you probably are familiar with Proxy Clips. You probably use them already. But, if you don't already have them enabled, make sure that you enable them. Essentially, proxy clips generate an easier to work with version of your video that you've just imported to your video editing software. Considering the fact that we're going to be editing 4K video, you will absolutely need proxy clips to be enabled. Now, I've already generated a proxy clip for this stock footage that we're going to use. It did take quite a while, and this is also quite a short video clip. So, if you're going to be editing 4K footage on lower-end hardware using Caden Live, definitely do expect to be patient. But with that said, let's go ahead and drag this clip onto the timeline and see what happens. Now, do bear in mind that even though this is a proxy clip, it is still full 4K footage, so it's not going to play back smoothly. But, Let's hit play and see what happens. So unfortunately, as you can see, it is still pretty laggy. Pretty much as laggy as it was when we were trying to play this back in MPV. But there is something that we can do about that. If we go ahead and click on this box here, we can actually change the preview resolution. So let's go ahead and set it to 270p. Now, obviously that's not going to look as good as our 4K footage, but... If we play it back now, you can see it's completely smooth. You could absolutely edit this. So although we're going to be rendering at full 4K, the preview resolution is a lot lower than that, so the Pinebook Pro is absolutely capable of handling it. And it actually handles it pretty well. We can even scrub through the timeline, we can play it back absolutely fine. As you can see, it works really well. So let's go ahead and put a few cuts in here, and then we can go ahead and see how long it takes to render. Now I'm not going to put in any fancy effects or anything like that, because I am aware that we are basically editing 4K video on tablet hardware. But we're going to go ahead and kind of simulate what a basic 4K edit might look like. So let's go ahead and do that. So, as you can see, I've had a little bit of a mess around here, and I've got to say, everything still works exactly as you would expect it to. We can still scrub around, you can still play clips that are laid on top of each other. There's a few slowdowns here and there, especially when I put in the fade out effect towards the back end here. So let me go ahead and play that, and you might be able to see that it is lagging a little bit. But I think as a whole, this editing process was absolutely fine. I could definitely edit video on the Pinebook Pro. And so far, I think as long as you've got the patience to wait for the proxy clips to render, I do think that you can pretty much work with whatever video you want on the Pinebook Pro, as long as you're not doing anything that's too ambitious. But what I want to see now is how long this is going to take to render. So I'm going to go ahead and render this clip, and I'll be back once it's rendered. And there we go, our video has finished rendering. Now for about a minute of 4K footage, it took about five and a half minutes to render. So obviously it kind of goes without saying that that is a very long time. But bear in mind, we are working with quite low end ARM hardware here. So the fact that we were able to edit a 4K video and render it at all is very impressive. And if I go ahead and pull up the video now, you can see absolutely fine. The fade-in effect that I put in is there, everything is here and working as it should be. So, I think that you definitely could edit 4K video on the Pinebook Pro. You'd need a lot of patience to do it. It takes a long time to import the proxies and it takes a long time to do the final render, but the editing performance itself is actually okay. Now, obviously, if you're working with a lot of fancy effects and color grading and stuff, definitely not. But I think for basic 4K editing, the Pinebook Pro is usable if you are very patient. 
Although I do think that you'd probably only want to be working on smaller projects, definitely nothing longer than a few minutes. So you can edit 4K video on the Pinebook Pro, but should you? Well, I'm going to say absolutely not. There isn't really a significant advantage to working with 4K over 1080p in most cases, and the Pinebook Pro is far more capable of handling 1080p. I think that if you wanted a portable editing machine for 1080p video, I think that the Pinebook Pro is actually absolutely fine. But if you're going to step up to 4K, I don't think it's fine anymore at that point. But it was still very impressive to see that the Pinebook Pro can edit 4K video, and it really is a testament to how great this laptop is. But with that said, that's it for my experiment today. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.